Lisa, what is that? to the Bell of Graveyard. Master. Four moons. Free if we hurry. Elisa, wait. Wait, please. She has the spark. Elizabeth's blood and Dracula's tears created 13 rubies with special powers. During the clan wars, most rubies were lost. Only a few clans survived. The Dracas, the Lycana, the Nosphorus, the Pyrrhus, the Virat, and the Vimalia. She's not the one we're looking for. Thank you, Elisa. You may return to class. Next. Open your mouth. tell you. I don't understand a thing that's happening to me. You have a spark. I can't believe it actually exists. What is it? I've never heard of it before. It's been kept out of our history books. Hendrik knows. He 
won't tell me. He's afraid of it for some reason. Everybody's afraid of it. All the shadows, all the elders. My father used to tell me horror stories about the curse of the spark and its power to end all vampires. Everyone can relax now. Although I'm quite the catch, I'm not the biter. <laughs> None of you are, for that matter. Neither are your shadow vampires. Everyone has been cleared. That means that we have an unidentified vampire running around biting humans. If you hear or see anything ratsy, suspicious, let me know. Hey! <laughs> Oh, I've missed you. Despite the fuss this night, we are sticking to our schedule. And today we will be learning something about communicating with animals. A very helpful power given to the Pyrrhus clan of friends. Joanne, would you please step forward? Just breathe. Stand up straight. I will teach you this. Before we can learn to speak to animals, you must learn how to listen to them. We vampires do have perfect hearing. We need to channel that. Use it as a filter. To filter out the I'd rather sun. filter this out. Matt, come a School is such bull. Malcolm of Virat. But Contessa, the sun is already out. Can't we just get a big day's sleep and do something more useful tomorrow? Like, I don't care what those little bugs have to say, and I can't imagine why I want to talk to them either. Communicating with animals seems like a useless power. I mean, they do anything for a bit of food. That's not power. Joanne, are you ready? You think so? The Pyrrhus have a useless power? Yeah. You watch and learn like a good schoolboy, or I'll tell Sermon! What are you doing? You what you're saying, what you're saying. It burns, the sun, it burns! as something loud and big, like you. Joanne, the class is all yours. As I was saying, you need to listen to the animals before you learn to speak to them. So, my first lesson. I'll teach you to really hear what they have to say. He was in wolf form when the Abiri stole our ruby. He's stuck until I find Tonka and take it back. Can you understand him? No. I speak to him and hope that he can understand me, but I'm not sure. You saw Dracula give her the ruby. Seymour and I searched the world for our clan's ruby to take it back. Since the Abiri fought on Dracula's side, we went to his castle. When we finally found it, we saw Dracula awake. Come now. The sun is almost up. You never 
got the Dracus's call. You followed Tonka to the Elizabethan and found us here. We only realized that this was a school after watching the boat for a few days. Why not just tell Conte Claudio how you found the ship? He never asked. And we didn't know who we could trust. The Nosferas were so cruel in the Lycanus during the clan wars. So were the Dracus. Our plan was to get the ruby and leave you all to your fate. Everything else didn't matter. We wanted the ruby. Get away and begin our new life. Well, what changed your mind? You did. Me? You were kind to me, to both of us. And you seemed to trust us. So maybe old times were changing for good. You helped me see that. So let us help you. What's the plan? Well, if Tonka's after Conta Claudio's rubies, there's someone I need to warn. Hendrik? Are you there? I need to talk to you. Could you go check on Conte Claudio and Contessa Viola? At least I think someone's out to steal their rubies. Fine. But you're not trying to get rid of me, are you? <laughs> I, I, I'm happy you found love, Hendrik. I, I really am. But you have to be more careful. What if I was an elder? If they find you with Raffaella, you'll be punished. You and Raffaella. We don't agree with shadow law anymore. We need love to endure eternity. To endure it? How to explain forever to someone as young as you? When the past outweighs the present, and still there is no end to what's going to come. But what about Tamo and me? You and Tamu will grow up. You will have children of your own. Your lives will deepen. I see no reason why we shadows should lead a, a shallow existence. Raffaella and I have decided. We want to bring it up with the Council of Clanets. No. Don't go to the Council. I think you should be able to love. I really do, but... What if... What if they convict you? Well, if you want the world to ever change, someone has to speak up. <laughs> what about Tamo and me? He'll be gone for forever. Who's going to take care of us? Did you think about that? Do you have any idea how selfish you are? <laughs> Alisa! Wait! I'll talk to her. I don't want your stupid tears. I'm really sorry.
You and Tamo, you, you mean the world to me. It's just... You know how much your father and mother loved each other, right? And just... Just a little bit of that... It would... Would mean the world to you. Yeah. I... I think Raphael is really nice. I really love her. From the depths of my soul. should never love. Your love must have driven you insane. He have no choice but to accuse you of murder. Uh, take him away! about uh yeah this is elisa elisa hi i'm calvina nico's mother nice to meet you nice to meet you too i love your style <laughs> love it nico um why don't you invite your friend around to our house for dinner tonight dinner you're gonna cook well, yeah i could try i mean be nice. Get to know Lisa a bit better, and and anyway, you two shouldn't be out at night with vampires running around town anyway. So, right, let's let's go and find something. Let's go and get something from the market. Um... Are you sure about this, Hendrik? Once you sign, there's no turning back.
Nico, go and light some candles. Okay. Uh, we don't want our guests sitting in the door, do we? Do you especially like garlic? Uh, no. Um, but it serves a purpose. Told you, Mum, it makes the place stink. Welcome to our very temporary, very humble, also stinking home. È stato scritto da uno dei fondatori di Red Masks molto tempo fa. Ha ah, anche il volume primo? No, mi dispiace, si dice sia in Olanda o in Germania. Ok. Uh, yeah, it, it's just. Your mom scares me a bit. <laughs> Sorry. Where is it? Uh, come on, come on. Ah, uh, here it is. You are so sweet and innocent. Here. For you, for your protection. Mum, I need to talk to you now, please. <coughs> what are you doing? Don't mess this off, Mum. Like I'm trying to test to see if she's a vampire. No, I wasn't testing her. I really wasn't. Never. I mean, what's the test in order? Straight talk your stair because we'd kill it. Never. I mean, what's the test in order? Straight talk your stair because we'd kill it. Can you just be a mum for once and not a crazed red mask? Nick, I'm just. Just yeah, stop. She's a person. She's what? not a vampire. Will you stop? Please? Thank you. It, it's really nice. <laughs> See? Good to know that my son has the chance to gain my heart like yours. <laughs> And to be honest, no idea how to cook. So you two are just going to have to go out for dinner. But it's dark out. Well, you're not a child anymore, right? Let me see how much we've got here. OK, there you go. should be enough. Oh. Off you pop. Go on. Thank you. Have fun, OK? <sighs> have fun. Be safe. She's uh, a lot, I, I know. She's just trying to protect you. I can't keep this. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's fine. Um, your parents the same? My parents are dead. Oh, I'm... Sorry. They've been gone a long time. My brother and I have lived with our grandmother and our sh uncle for as long as I can remember. Did you miss them? Yes. Lately, I've been dreaming about them. Lisa, <laughs> you need to come back with me. Now. And you are... Uh, a classmate. Um, yeah. Elisa, we need to get back. OK. Uh, I have to go. I'm sorry. Wait. Wait. Good trackers. <laughs> the best. Elisa, there's something I have to tell you. Claudio, he um he gave Hendrik his punishment for killing Raffaella. What? When? He has to walk the sun at sunrise. I'm so sorry. 